we're going Mithra and Pyra. Oh, okay. The first, uh, is this the first ever Pyra on Xeno? I do believe so, yes. This will be interesting. Quite the powerhouse this this character is. And quite an amazing range and movement. And, and basically uh, a two frame counter that comes out every time you spot dodge. Hey, who knows? <laughs> now, granted the downside to it, we actually just saw that for roll and her spot that have a lot of extra lag at the end. And sure. right there, Tom had um, Lemon Tree in the corner, Lemon Tea rather, in the corner, and then was just able to react to the roll behind hit with the up B. So yes, that is definitely uh, very scary that, that basically when it's a counter is always active. But at the same time, uh, there, the evasion uh, mm -hmm. At least in terms of iframes is down there. Pyra still has amazing mobility as we're seeing. Uh, we're actually now the switch to Pyra. Is that, uh, yeah, yeah. And, the switch um, to Pyra. The switch to Pyra. And I honestly, I when these characters got announced, I was really excited because I love switch characters in general. I think they're mm -hmm. so cool. And um, the I wonder if that even was though a they have the part? same move set for the most part. Uh, the fact that their qualities are different, they, that there ends up being this extra level of decision making whenever you're playing the character that does not exist for pretty much any of the other casts barring the Pokemon trainer. Yeah, this character very much reminds me of a, um, of a Sheik Zelda type character where one's supposed to be he like the fast combo heavy character that has a hard time killing and the other one is just a damage dealing, dealing, um, heavy hitting killing character. And well, in my opinion, Mithra is quite a bit more powerful. Pyra still holds her own in, the, in quite a few matchups. No, but it's not just like matchup dependent, it's also situations. Mm -hmm. As we're seeing right here, uh, yeah, any hit from Pyra should be able to close out a stock and you're seeing him really trying to search for that. Uh, Almost Pyra has is quite the powerhouse in terms of every hit can kill you. I yeah, know that. I... Go on. Oh no, just like but they, of course the issue is weaker neutral, and despite Pyra's super strong neutral, really able to kill. So that's where that decision making, recognizing when you need to focus on that speed and when you need to like whether there is even a kill available to you as. Um. So what? One of the cool mix-ups that, uh, that I've seen with Mithra and Pyra is jumping, is when you're jumping in as, is because Mithra has a down air to, um, oh wow, we're seeing the, um, the, cou the counter sort of come in to play right there, slowing down and letting a major punish happen to Tom. Um, but yeah, an interesting option that I've seen is that because Pyra has a down air to both F smash and up smash combo, and their switch is so fast, you can actually switch between them mid air and have a little mix up depending on what you want to do. You can potentially just kill them up through, from a mix up. Um. Let's now, see. one thing that yeah. I do want to note that Tom is doing very well is whenever T. Uh, he is trapped in the corner. He is punishing the escape option to very effectively. In that position, once more, catches a jump with an F tilt. The pressure is always on, it feels like. And, yeah, like, not able to actually get the stock. And that overextension punished swiftly and effectively by Tom. Gonna be a two stock for game one. Yeah, we. For the first star. Uh... Uh, we saw. I'm going to assume that the first dog where um, Lemon T died was potentially a mess input. Where just use Mithra side B out of nowhere on the, in the middle of the stage. Maybe it was potentially just a hard read, but clearly that kind of thing isn't gonna work out versus Tom. I, I think that was a there. hard read. Uh, he was trying to catch a shield drop. 
Like, I see. Because normally, I think it's actually pretty smart because he was shielding at a distance that was very far away at a range where basically nothing that normally Mithra would do in neutral would reach. And at that point, you're trapped in shield. Your instinct is, all right, I got to get out of shield. Got to re-engage. And mm -hmm. so trying to catch him dropping shield at that exact moment, I think was actually pretty clever. Um, but it was a pretty big commitment. Against some characters, you know, who might not be able to close distance well, might be relatively safe. But as we saw, Roy is so fast. Oh, Every yeah, little uh, overextension is being capitalized on. Oh! Oh! That could have been a major punish. But Lemon T missing the opportunity, and but continuing to keep the pressure on. On dealing a ton of a very quick stock right there from Lemon T. Adapting very well so far. Just not letting up on the advantage state whatsoever. Yeah, one thing that I'd like to see. So given how much uh speed is kind of rewarded in smash i think about what are the situations where you really would want to go pyra and one thing that i'd like to see is when you do have a lead and then you're at a point where one of pyra's moves could either put him off stage or just straight up threaten to kill uh do you ever go pyra defensively in that regard to like then start throwing at hitboxes really try and scare your opponent um, um I do know Pyra is slightly heavier than Mithra. So the possibility of attempting to go Pyra to try to just get a off-handed kill and try and survive a couple more hits is absolutely there. I, I, I'm just going to say, how, how is Pyra heavier? Mithra has like a solid foot and a half. <laughs> yeah, but... I guess they wanted to make Pyra potentially a more interesting option. Yeah, option. and I mean, I guess if Bayonetta at like six foot seven or whatever is one of the lightest characters in the game. Yeah, we we have both um, Mewtwo and Sephiroth both being extremely light. I even though clearly in reality they would. Oh wow! Okay, that quick. The accidental going past the ledge. What? what? <gasps> wow. Is that a, that's a thing? I did not realize you could die. You could just die like that. Oh, it's oh a terrible, terrible mechanic. It's garbage. Uh, get, 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 buff it. <laughs> he, yeah, definitely buff that mechanic. No, please don't. <clears throat> wow, that. Last fall? Back within, yeah, that's class. That's pretty amazing. Back within mechanic there, where you just kill yourself off, off accidentally getting it's hit. A, during it's a your... risky strategy. <laughs> killing yourself at five percent. Yeah, you know, a little risky. No High big risk. Deal. I'm gonna say medium reward. <laughs> 